Hey, what is going on guys? So on today's video, we're going to do a little bit of a, well, it's a change of pace. It's going to be a little different. So just keep watching. First things first, I do beard stuff, I do shave stuff, I do hair stuff, and if I find a nice bottle of something, I'll even have a drink with you. So if that all sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button and you'll know when it happens. Like I said in the intro, we're going to do something a little different. So this is a Binks first. On this video, I am going to review a shave soap. That's right. I have a beard and I shave. Uh, the company that I work for, they recently changed up their policies and they actually talked about a beard. Before they didn't. It was okay to have a beard, but they changed up the policy. It was more of the dress code. All they said was, you know, we, we love beards, but we just ask that you keep them neat and, you know, trimmed and clean, and then we're, we're good. So I can totally handle that. But that's why I do keep a kind of a shorter beard, and I have to take a much more uh, managed approach if I do want to grow it out. But to help me with that and to help me do that, I shave. And I got to tell you guys, I really do love the process of shaving. And I utilize the kind of old school wet shave method, so I use a double-edged razor, and I use shave soaps. And this shave soap that I'm going to review in the video today comes from Regiment. Regiment is a, they make shave soaps, they sell razors, they sell brushes, uh, shave brushes, and they also have some beard oils. And I got to tell you, if the beard oils smell anything like some of their shave soaps, that's going to be a good thing. I have not had the opportunity to try their beard stuff, uh, their beard oil, sorry, their beard oils per se, but uh, they did send me uh, some shave soap. So this one that I have is called Godspeed. And I'll just go over the packaging real quick. It's really cool, tin, and I do like it when shave soaps come in these because it's all self-contained. You don't need a shave dish, it's, it's right here. And I'll again, I get into that here in a minute. Uh, the label here, just there's nothing else here, just this front label right here. And I'll read you the ingredients. <clears throat> it is water, steric acid, tallow, castor oil, freaking love castor oil, right? Coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, shea butter, sodium hydroxide, fragrance, and bentonite clay. What does that all look like, right? But here's one thing that I really love about shave soaps. That whole list of ingredients fit around this label. If you pick up something that you would buy in a big box store, those ingredients take up like, I don't know, like that, like it's a lot. It's a lot of the label, all right? There's a, there's a whole, they dedicate almost a whole side to some of that stuff sometimes. I just like the simplicity here. They're giving you what you need. I'll go ahead and open this up now. And you see here, it, it's a shave soap. It looks almost a little like, like fibrous, but it, uh, it has a very, like almost a very firm clay type feel to it. This one is a mint fragrance base uh, product. It's very nice. Um, it has a uh, very just very light mint smell, and it has a uh, kind of a, it has a very crisp, cool finish. And every if you take like multiple whiffs, like on some of them, you almost get like this ever so slight sweet note. So it's almost like a sweet, really airy mint. Very nice, especially during the shaving process. I like mint during, like when I shave. It's a nice smell because it really just has like this cleansing effect on the whole process. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this lathers. Got my brush, and guys, this is why I like the this is why I like the containers. Like I said, it's all self-contained. I don't have to get so. This is another shave soap I have, and it, I have to put it in a dish. This is all in one container. What's nice, you can travel with these, and all you do is when you're done shaving. You just let them air out so they dry, and that's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and lather it up here. Lather. Alright, so got some there on my brush, and here is, that's what it looks like when it gets all lathered. Let me show you this. So, look at that. Put my brush down. That is a really nice lather. I'm going to, look at that. See, nice and creamy, and... Spreads really nice and it holds up. I mean, I'm gonna wait here for a minute. It it really doesn't go anywhere. Uh, I love that because I really think it's the use of the oils and some of those other ingredients that really make this just stand up and it really just makes it hold up very well. Uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and shave because I got some got some got some scruff going on here that I need to get rid of. So I'm gonna just show you how it works and 
Again, that smell, real consistent to just smelling it right out of the container there. Yeah, very good stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lather so you can kind of see how it affects. Uh, I like demonstrating products. Hang on. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, I just hit myself with a hot towel, if you couldn't tell by the camera. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and get this lather going. So, if you can see. Goes on pretty nice. Get a little bit more up there. And I just do the bottom of my neck here. Like I said, I really like shaving. Uh, just, it really does help. It helps add a lot of definition to my beard. I'm going to hit a little up here on the cheeks. Now, don't worry. Let me show you my little trick I use, which some of you probably do what I'm going to do about my cheeks anyways. But for those of you who don't know or kind of curious how people do this, this is how, it ha this is how it's done. So, got my lather on. Little trick there, guys, so you avoid nicking yourself. Swallow as you go over your Adam's apple. And you can see as I'm moving through here, that lather has stayed consistent on my cheeks and it stayed here really consistent on my neck. Uh, that last video that I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did do another video before, and I've had sh I've had shave soaps before. They they go on the skin, they work, but they the lather fades. This lather really doesn't fade. I really like that about this lather. Now for the cheeks, right? All right here we go. That's all we do. That's all we do, right there, and. There we go. That's it. You can see we got some of that cleaned up. My cheeks. So really enjoy the shaving like this. This is a great product. I'm gonna just, you know what? I'm gonna kick it over to another camera. Alright, guys. Okay. Now I gotta tell you that feels freaking amazing. The way that I still have a little bit of a mint smell just around me. It's really nice. And all you gotta do is just once you're done, you just kind of rinse, give this a rinse. Kind of get, just want to get all the suds, kind of the, that little bit of lather that might be left in here to go away. See, it's just kind of wet now. And I'll just let this sit on my counter here, let it dry. Once it's dry, I'll put its lid back on, and I'll, we, then it just sits there until I'm ready to use it again. Overall, guys, I really, I was very impressed with this shave soap. When I saw those ingredients, though, the castor oil and the coconut oil um, and some of the other ingredients, it, I was really excited to see how it would work on, on my skin, and it does. It works great. I don't get any irritation. I've used this for a week. Uh, no, barely any irritation. I always get some when I shave. I think I'm just prone to it, but far less than using like the, the more commercialized stuff. If you haven't been wet shaving or anything, try it. Um, you know, if you need a new handle or something, give it a shot, but uh, you can go to Regiment. They sell really, they sell decent razors. They sell these shave soaps. They even have, like I said, they have some beard stuff, which I haven't got to try yet, but it looks pretty promising. And if it smells anything like these shave soaps, it's probably going to be some pretty good stuff. So, guys, I hope this helped. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down there below. Hit that subscribe button, and I hope you have a great week. Take care.